just wanted to give you a quick Pilates exercise that you can do right now. It's going to ease any back ache, shoulder ache, it's going to strengthen your abs, it's going to stretch out the back of the legs, it's going to get the blood flowing um, and it's going to increase the mobility in the whole of your body. So it is the roll down. We do these roll downs at my classes, usually at the beginning, sometimes at the end as well, and they're a really nice way of getting the back moving. So what you're gonna do is stand with your feet hip distance apart, your weight in the center, your abs contracted, your bottom squeezed and your spine straight. We're gonna take the shoulders forwards, the chin down, and then roll down. Slight bend of the knees, taking your time and lowering down. Then pressing down with the feet, lifting up with the center of the back, uncurling. Now either straightening the back, taking the shoulders back and down, or stretching up. So chin to chest, shoulders forwards, slight bend of the knees. And we're stretching out those shoulders, center of the back, the lower back, the glutes, the hamstrings and then lifting up and stretching up. Really need to relax your shoulders and you can do that by relaxing your arms. So relaxing the whole of the upper body, the head's hanging down, the arms are hanging down and that way you're getting rid of any tension in your shoulders and then rolling up. So you may feel the stretch in your shoulders. If like me, you suffer with your lower back, if that's you, give me a wave. In that case, as you roll down, you'll need to bend your knees and feel that rounding of your lower back. Oh, that feels lovely for me. So this is called the roll down and it's one of my favourite Pilates exercises. If you're doing this at home, make sure that you do it slowly. We really want to feel the space between your vertebrae. As I always say at classes, it's about the journey, it doesn't matter how low you go so you don't have to touch your toes it's all about the stretch for your back don't force it and you might choose to go to your knees you might choose to have your hands on your thighs you might have the arms hanging down and you may even be able to touch your toes it doesn't matter as long as you're feeling a stretch on your back. Oh, so give it a go. You could do it first thing in the morning, you could do it in the evening, but any time you need to stretch out your back, get a little bit more mobile. If you feel like you've been stuck in a position um, for a while, get your blood flowing, um, if you spend your day sitting down, then this exercise is perfect for you. It's not for everyone though. Um, some people don't like having the head dropping forward, they feel dizzy. That's all good. That's fine, maybe it's just not for you. Um, other people, if you suffer from osteoporosis or you're pre-osteoporotic, then um, this forward movement isn't great for your back. So you might choose to do it, where could I do it? I could do it here, holding onto the wall and then rounding the back, like so. So if you are watching me, jump up, reach up to the ceiling, squeeze your bottom, contract your abs and then take your chin to your chest, your shoulders go forwards, your arms are hanging down, Slowly lowering, bending those knees slightly, feeling the stretch on the shoulders, the lower back, 
in the middle of the back and then slowly restacking the spine and then stretching up. So if you suffer from achy shoulders, achy lower back, try it. Write me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, I would love to know how you get on with a roll down. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.